Right, so that's basically the piece of music. Um, it's a simple blues, um, but it's not simple as well. You know, it's uh, it's got a lot going on in that. Um, there are triplets, there's 12 bar blues, um, there's um, finger style, um, there's um, phrasing, um, and of course, the base of it all are the chords. So, okay, so just as a very, very short thing for you to be able to look at how to approach this, um, there's a first introduction, which is just triplets, which is the... Um, okay, so that's a, a really, a, a real classic um, blues introduction. There are many of them um, from... Or the famous one. There's loads of them. Um, so, but basically in this case, it's, it's a, a slide where the two fingers, first finger, uh, second finger, third, fourth finger and thumb, uh, index, middle, annular, and thumb. Um, so your second finger, and your third finger slide from the second position on the G string and the E string up to the fourth position and you hit it with your thumb, hit the G string with your thumb and slide at the same time. And then uh, this is blues and E where you play the E string, G string, and the E string, uh, so top E string and bottom E string and the G string, like so with the first finger on the G sharp. And then you bring your three fingers down and then start the riff um, so but uh, before we'd go into that so that's a, a great intro and you can play it as fast or as slow as you like um, and then go into the piece of music so uh, but the, if we look at how the piece of music is structured so it's 12 bar blues so there's 12 bars 12 chords um, so uh, the first chord is E7, the second chord would be A7, and so on. So it, there, are, there are three chords, there's E7, A7, B7. So but within the 12 bar blues, structure, what you would do is you would go So that's the structure. So again, sorry. And then you start again. So uh, practice that. So uh, I'll just um, read out the fingering for the three chords. So that's E7, 
open E, A string, second finger, second fret, open D, then G sharp, and then on the B string, pinky on the D note, and then open E. So it sounds like this. And that's E7. The second chord is where you rest your finger across on the second fret, all four strings apart from the top two strings, B and A. So you hold those down and then you just put your second finger on the third fret up of the E string. And this is what it sounds like. E7, brilliant chord. And then finally, the um, the jazz chord, I guess you could call it, um, which is B7, which is a turnaround chord. It's, it's before you resolve back to the beginning. So B7, and the way we're going to play B7 is that you'll take the A, play the A with your thumb, open. Then uh, B flat with your first finger, and then your second finger goes down on the B. And then the D string is uh, your first finger on the on the first fret of the D string, and then your third finger on the G string, second fret, and then your pinky on the bottom string, the E string, on the second fret and you don't play the E. So, so the blues kind of um, phrase would sound like this. So. And then back to uh, whatever chord you're playing. So if you're resolving, that'd be back to E7. Or if continuing, A7. So, um, I hope that's helpful and uh, we'll continue properly into the riff, um, which is... Um, so we'll, we'll go into all of that in the next video. Uh, so get in touch if you've got any questions, um, the details of how to get in touch are below. Uh, subscribe and ask me any questions. And respond.